Hi everyone, good evening. It's just Damien. I've got the girls out tonight. Um, I don't have much jewellery in that on um, or lipstick in that. I, I am trying to do less is more basically um, because I do want to start exploring more with my gender and sexuality. It does get too much sometimes having a, and it does take too long having a get the makeup right even though it's just lipstick eye mascara and earrings and the jewelry it, and the necklace sorry it just gets a little bit too much and i'm just trying to enjoy it as much as i can and i don't want to have too many influences that could cause me some anxiety in that but yeah i've got the dress on the black dress black so yeah um i've bought a new bag today it's a ladies bag i would have liked a beige i did see a beige one that i liked as well but that didn't really go with everything and it's a bit more i've seen another one which is a little bit more suitable for what my needs are and that as well it only cost 12 pound from river island because i had a voucher to go to go towards it so yeah, um, I've had the block back today to fix me sideboard, so that's sorted. Um, I I have was given a bag of clothes the other week, uh, the weekend, a few things, but none of like none of it was suitable. So I put a load of it. I put some. I, the only thing that I'd taken out of it was a mirror, but I put loads of it. And I put it all back in the bag and took it to the charity shop near Asda. It was a bit hard to do. It was a bit hard to do. Uh, it was a bit hard to do. But, yeah, at least, the, at least the charity shop can get some money in that and that for it. As I say, it was a bit hard because it was quite heavy. So, yeah, I've given back to the community. I have plans for the weekend, possibly, but I've had a phone call today to say that they might have to put it on hold or whatever but yeah i'm just trying to get them to stop that because i was really looking forward to it and that kind of thing i'm not going to go into details yet i'd want to i'm not going to go into details yet but i will go into details once i know a little bit more or once things have happened but it could mean that i it could mean that i could um put a hold on videos for a while on here for a couple of weeks but i'm not sure yet but yeah um i as i say i've got plans at the week possibly plans at the weekend and i have went out last night um i was out of town yesterday and i've been to middlesbrough for a meeting and i got got back home decided to go to wasda and that kind of thing and i wanted to see if they've got any brassiers, any bras that, that will that were white in 38c because the, the plunge bras are extra firm where they keep the shape but there's still the room down there so so yeah i wanted them in white um i wanted them for uh the weekend and that kind of thing so i've been looking at different options and that as i say um but yeah, I've been looking at different options and that as I say, I could have had pay I could have got Collect Plus for possibly delivery on the Saturday. But I'm gonna need them for the Sunday at the latest and it wasn't guaranteed if it could if it was gonna be there all the time. So I got back home about between six uh was it between six and seven uh or be sorry but yeah i got home and looked at them and then looked online it, it was like i found the nearest store that had them in was farnaby and I had to get the bus back out of town back to stockton then back from stockton to farnaby then and get them so i have have got them now but if i knew the, the situation there i would have went there first on the way home because we would have been able to get a bus from middlesbrough bus station but yeah i'm um, looking into different options um 
and the white and the uh, my aunt was over today and set the straps possibly but yeah i'm looking at getting things back on track but there's a couple of things yesterday i wasn't happy with about the meeting i thought the care that was getting offered to me was going to be under one team and this was going to be the main point of contact main team for the care but it's not like that at all now it's like their actors like security guards security measures so the the careers within the mental health team but it's a bit i'm a bit uncomfortable with it uh i'm a little bit uncomfortable with it and the way that it is so i was i am thinking about getting discharged and trying to do it myself but yeah it's just but yeah um just trying to get things back on track um does everyone ever get into this situation i was what i'd had my flu jab uh on the day before yesterday i was supposed to get it on the monday but the pharmacist had covered so he wasn't doing it so yesterday i was feeling a bit rough um because of the flu and the covid jab and i was feeling a little bit rough a little bit a little bit um rough a little bit sore and i felt tired and that during the day i feel a bit better now but i'm still aching a bit but that's not what I'm on about. Uh, what I'm on about is, has anyone ever been to a situation where they're watching TV in the living room and their eyes are getting dead tired and they're trying to force the eyes open to watch the programme they want to watch and then they're going to go to bed, but they keep falling asleep through that. And then when they do finally get to bed, they can't get to sleep. That happened to me last night, early hours this morning. I've been watching Murder, She Wrote, Jessica Fletcher, and and my aunt, I was like wanting to struggle watching it. I kept rewinding it because I I was um, stuck on certain bits because I dozed off. So and then I like went to bed and I couldn't get comfortable and that kind of thing. Um, I have plans possibly for I do want to start dating in that, and I have got plans possibly to start progressing that and um, there is something put in place next week possibly for a for a meeting but i might not be able to go to that or i most likely might not be able to go to that but yeah i do want to start dating getting out socializing uh and being true to myself getting the girls out more but yeah it just winds me up as well because a lot of people at these meetings say autism is part of mental health then some people say it's a learned disability then some people say it's this some people say it's that so yeah it's just just yeah i'm wanting to get things back on track but if anyone has anything they want to talk about or ask me that would be great thank you bye